This is Ice Cream Gecko and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Langnese Confect ice cream. There was a little ice cream cubes. So I think they were quite popular uh, in the movies a few decades ago. I've never seen them in the movies today at cinemas. No, but my parents always talk about those when they see them. Today we're going to take a closer look at these because I do find them interesting. Let's zoom in on the ingredients list right here. And let's zoom in on the nutrition table right here and the address where you can send your angry letters to. 100 milliliters contain 65 grams of this ice creamy goodness. And uh, let us open up this little package. Comes with a little tab right here that we can open up. And I've got to say, yeah, a pretty decent presentation of this. Maybe we zoom out just a little bit. This one right here could be set a bit different, but uh, yeah, they look all right. Not quite cubes, a bit more long. I do not know what the word for that is in English, though. Let's take a closer look at one of these. Bit of an imperfect little thing, cube-ish structure. It's not too much weight to it, but this is uh, what I assume to be just ice cream with chocolate. Yes, it's uh, ice cream with vanilla flavor, and that's covered with a cocoa-containing fat icing, 30% of that. All right, which one did we take? We took this one, right? So let's take a knife and uh, slice it through real quick. Yeah, and this is pretty much what we expected. Ice cream with vanilla flavor and a bit of fat icing on the very outside, containing some cocoa. All right, the first one is going in. All right, the first one has been consumed. I've got to say that um, the bite size of this is quite perfect. Not too small, not too big. The ice cream itself is not really all that exciting. Not all too much vanilla flavor. Um, but the, the chocolate on the outside, or the fat glaze with the cocoa in it, that's pretty spot on as well. It's not too dark, not too much cocoa in it, and it's not too milky, not too light either. Very decently done. I mean, they should have, you know, perfected this by now. I guess this is out for decades and decades and decades. Another one. While I am making my way through this little um, ice cream pack, I'm actually Googling a little bit to find out where this uh, actually stems from, when it was invented. And apparently, the Langnese Confect right here came to the market in 1962, and the Capri in 1959, and the Domino in 1953. Very interesting how old this actually is now. I didn't think that. I thought about the 70s, maybe the 80s, but 62, that's quite some time ago. I'm going to finish this off now, and I'll be back with you at the review sheet in just a second. The consumption process is complete, so we are ready to jump into the rating with the review sheet. The first impression was good. I have got nothing to complain about it. The ice cream pieces themselves looked all right. They weren't perfect, but you know, those things are mass produced, and this is not all that expensive either. So I'm willing to look over this little uh, uh, cosmetic defect of a few of these pieces. I do like the presentation in this little carton box. Um, yeah, it has got something classic to it, a certain theme to it that isn't really all that common anymore nowadays. Nowadays everything's wrapped in plastic and that is actually a bit boring, I find it at least to be most of the time. Color-wise, also nothing to complain about it. The vanilla flavor ice cream was white and the darker chocolate fat glazing was a dark brown, almost blackish. Um, yeah, nothing to complain about. It looked good. Consistency wise, same story. The ice cream was nice and creamy. Well, creamy enough for me at least. And uh, the glaze on the outside did provide that, that nice little crack when you bite into it. The ice cream pieces, of course, do have to be cold enough for that to work properly. But uh, when they are cold enough, these ones right here were. It's quite a nice eating experience, I've got to say. And the bite sizes of these little pieces, it's actually almost perfect, I would say. Taste-wise, I give four out of five points for the simple fact that the the ice cream itself, it uh, it was a bit boring. The entire thing isn't really all that complicated. You've got ice cream and you've got a bit of you know chocolate glaze around it, and um, I think they they 
maybe could do a bit more with the ice cream itself. Nothing was tasting bad, but it was maybe just a little bit too boring, the ice cream core. But I think four out of five points, I think it, it's still good. Like, I, I do like this, and four to five points isn't a bad rating, it's just... Maybe it could use a bit of pep to it. A bit more of that vanilla flavor would be nice. Usually with those vanilla flavor ice cream from Langnese or generally like the Unilever company, um, usually you have got many other things going on in the ice cream, so it doesn't really matter. But here, there are only two parts, the ice cream and the chocolate on the outside. And uh, yeah, the ice cream is a bit lacking, unfortunately. Themalization wise, I think they did what they said they would. It's a, a timeless original, yes, it's uh, older than I expected, and uh, it's it's confect, it's alright, looks good, tastes alright, and the presentation is nice as well. Therefore, 9 out of 10 points for the Langnese confect. Anyway, this is it for the moment. Uh, if you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.